Good morning and a most blessed Thursday to you. Today is a very important day in the life of the church. Today is the day that we celebrate the ascension of Jesus Christ, the ascension of the crucified, resurrected Christ when he entered into the throne room to sit at the right hand of the Father. In the book of Hebrews, we read about that, where we read that Christ did not enter a sanctuary made by human hands, a mere copy of the true one, but he entered into heaven itself, now to appear in the presence of God on our behalf. If we go to uh, Revelation, the four, or the fifth chapter, sorry, the fifth chapter, and we read about the mighty angel who's proclaiming who is worthy to open the scroll, really who is worthy to, to sit at the right hand of the Father, who is worthy to be in the presence of the Father and to know the plan of the Father, the plan for history for humanity and and it is Jesus it is Jesus it, John was weeping bitterly when when it was found that no one on earth and no one in heaven was worthy to um, claim the authority of opening the scroll or even holding the scroll and and he we wept John wept bitterly uh, that no one was worthy. And then an elder says, don't weep. Don't weep. See, the lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, has conquered so that he can open the scroll and its seven seals. Then I saw between the throne and the four living creatures and among the elders a lamb standing as if it had been slaughtered. He went and took the scroll from the right hand of the one who was seated on the throne. In the first chapter of Revelation, when Jesus, Jesus is talking to John in that, um, in that vision, the revelation that, that Jesus is giving John, and when John sees him, he says that he, he fell as if dead. Um, and Jesus said, don't be afraid. I am the first and the last and the living one. I was dead and see, I am alive forever and ever. And I have the keys of death and of Hades. The ascension of Christ is more than good news for us. It is the best news. The fact that he was crucified, that he died, taking our sin upon himself, upon the cross. Thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus. Absolutely incredible, amazing. We don't, we don't cover our sin, but by the blood of Jesus. Then he was resurrected. The sacrifice was accepted. The tomb is empty. What a glorious word that the sin that we cannot atone for was atoned for by Jesus. And the atonement was accepted. The sacrifice was accepted. And then he ascended. The only one worthy to hold any of us before the Father. And he ascended. And he sits at the right hand of the Father. And he sits at the right hand of the Father so that we are worthy to be in the presence of God for all time. Just incredible. The church celebrates the ascension because the ascension means that, that we are right before the Father. That Jesus, that Jesus holds us and our entire humanity, creation, life, history, future in his hands. And we know Jesus is good, loving, and, um, and perfect for us. This is to be celebrated. We are not worthy. No one, no one is worthy. None except for Christ. And we know that the worthy one sits, 
sits at the right hand of God, holding us, loving us, hearing us, and caring for us. He will never leave us, and he will call us one day to be in the presence of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit in complete communion with God and with one another for all eternity. I celebrate with you the ascension of our Lord. Let's pray. Heavenly Lord, we thank you so much. We thank you that you are worthy. You are worthy to hold our lives in your hands. You are worthy to judge us. You are worthy to present us righteous through your blood before the Father. Lord, we ask that as we finish out this week, and we consider uh, the ascension and consider what it means that, that you have conquered death, that you hold the keys to death and Hades. Lord, we ask that you would fill us with, with comfort, joy, and hope, and confidence, knowing that we are yours, that you have claimed us, and that you will never let us go. Lord, we thank you and we praise you our King of kings, Lord of lords, who sits even now at the right hand of the Father. Lord, we praise you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I cannot wait to worship Jesus with you this Sunday. Until then, God bless.